Okay, so we're about a week into having the Odroid in the car. I'm pretty sure I've got most of my initial thoughts figured out here. Uh, there's some minuses with the build, to be honest with you. I mean, the one Diesel thing and that bothers Jackson, me, guys like well, that. So that's one thing that doesn't bother me is the fact that, though, that really everything boots up pretty instantly. Um, the battery is not as efficient as I thought. Uh, you know, I get a day out of it, and then I've got to charge it at, in the house because I don't drive far enough. You basically have to charge a 13 milliamp battery for a day at 1.5 amps to get a full charge. But in any event, um, bottom line is the first thing that I'm happy with is the fact that this thing is just lightning fast. I mean, I can load anything almost at will and not have a problem with it. You can see that uh, you know the GPS is working, torque is working, it automatically connects, and everything. I mean, just going from screen to screen is as fast as you're gonna get with a uh, you know even with a tablet you know I've, I've got a Galaxy Nexus 7 and there's no comparison in terms of the speed on this thing still haven't figured out the volume you know how to get the volume up here with a larger button rather than the uh, smaller buttons down here but in terms of everything else I mean I'm mo greatly impressed with the uh, the voice controls um, you know, just navigating even through the App Store. Uh, download MP3 car. Obviously, that doesn't make sense. There's no app for MP3 car, but using the voice controls, everything's pretty instant. Even with, you know, in areas of low signal, I, I'm pretty good with just using voice search to get where I want to go, even with loading songs from Google, uh, Google Music and things like that. Um, a couple of problems that I am having, I can't reach the top bar of the uh, screen. So obviously I've got some calibration, more calibration I have to do uh, with the device. See, if I'm pushing up here in the very top corner, the, the mouse just barely gets up there. And as a result, you know, getting to the settings has become somewhat of a chore. But I've overcome it because I've actually implemented some space navigator control. I don't know if you can see that there, but... I'm moving the space na navigator up and down, and you can actually hear it. It's moving through the prompt, similar to the way that you know the keyboard controls a Windows PC, if you have that option. Um, so I can still get to those controls. It's just a matter of not being able to push them. The controls on the bottom I can get to very easily, but I guess the scale or the resolution of the touchscreen isn't matching the screen quite. Um, but again, the speed. Uh, the instant bootability of this device, even when I don't have a battery charge, it boots up in 15 to 20 seconds. Um, mostly good. The only th things that I'm having problems with at this point are clicking that top, and then obviously the main problem that I have, the main problem that you're going to have with most tablet installations is unless you've got specialized hardware and drivers to make them work, you're pretty dependent on the internet connection. I mean, right now I've got an internet connection. You can hear the radio playing from tuned in in the background. Uh, but if I don't have radio or internet reception, I don't have radio, I barely have music, only a couple of play playlists that I put into offline mode. And I actually don't even get a clock. The clock down here on the bottom will not set properly because there's no battery on the Odroid to maintain it. Um, the battery, the network connection makes it so that I have a clock. Without that, the clock won't even work if I boot it up. Uh, but again, mostly good things. I don't have a problem. I've got all the apps that I need. You know, I've got an equalizer app that allows me to control that. That works great. Um, I do wish to have more control with the Space Navigator. I'm still working on that. Again, I'm new to Android development and I'm new to some of the background applications, creating services and things like that. So um, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm happy. I actually don't want to take it out of the car, but I'm going to have to uh, in order to uh, find another solution for the battery because that's obviously not going to work. But um, just wanted to give an update. The device is working great for me. The front-end application is working great. It isn't as pretty as front as Ride Runner or Centerfuse, but you know, we can deal with that. And the power of Android. I mean, I've got all apps that I could possibly need at my disposal. So, um, a little bit more coming later. But I just wanted to get this blog updated with some initial reviews and impressions, and I uh, hope this has helped out.